Have you ever got one of those SMSs where instead of having a phone number, it actually has letters? Let me show you how to do that using my plugin. Send a message and we should see it come up on my phone pretty soon. Heard that buzz. And you can see here, it comes from a sender ID, an alphanumeric sender ID called Cool Dude. And I, I have complete control over what I want it to show there. You can see this one came from Cool Dude, and then this one here I sent from Ethitech, and then I could change it here. All I have to do is make a, a Twilio from number record. I can put in anything I want up to 11 characters. In order to get that working, first of all, you need to make sure that you're in a supported country. Australia supports it. Oh, I have to reload the page before that will update. Just show you that I, I can easily use a different from name. Yeah, see, uses what I put in here. I was about to tell you about what countries it will work with. I'm in Australia and you can see here that it is supported. Some countries like Armenia, it is supported, but you have to pre-register. For some other countries, for example, the US, it's flat out not supported, too bad. And the other thing to bear in mind is that you can't actually reply to this message. If I try and reply back, it will fail because that isn't actually linked to anything. It seems like it works here in Push Bullet, but if I check on my phone, I can't show you it on my phone screen, but it just fails. It, it, there's no way to route that back to a number. For that reason, if you want to use these alphanumeric sender IDs, you need to, in your message, you need to include a way for people to reply. You could say something like, reply to Add a, a link in there. So I've got the option to add a, a default message signature. You can see now if I send that, it'll come with a signature at the end. Mm -hmm. What it can be good for is if you're sending, you probably, when you've logged into your bank, you might have got a one time password where it will ask you to confirm a transfer it will then normally have the name of the bank up here and that you don't really need to reply to that. And it's unlikely that they would opt out because it's a transactional SMS. But if you're doing promotional SMS, then you definitely need to include something like this. Give them a way to opt out. Otherwise you could get in trouble. The final thing I need to mention is that I found for my account, it wasn't enabled by default. I needed to actually contact Twilio support and ask them to enable it for me. The way you can check that is if you log into your Twilio console and go to programmable messaging and then go to settings and you'll be able to see whether, see here, alphanumeric sender ID, I've got that set to enabled. If you have that enabled, then the only thing you need to do with my plugin is set up either a, a Twilio from number or change your default from number. 
in the settings to include the alphanumeric sender ID. Let's show you how to do that in the settings. Jump in, installed, find my plugin. And here I could put in whatever I want there. Hope that gets you interested in potentially using alphanumeric sender IDs. One final thing, this doesn't work with WhatsApp. You can't have a, an alphanumeric sender ID with WhatsApp, but for SMS and MMS, it works fine.